In my last video, I talked about taking some of that old music from new films and trying it on the dance floor. And I also talked about trying it without waiting for permission to do so, meaning maybe you don't always have to wait for that request to legitimize the track. You can just throw it out there and see what happens. And with these older songs, sometimes you can't help but win because you've got a new regeneration who says, hey, I know that tune from that movie. That was a pretty cool movie. I like the song. You have an older generation who says, I remember that song from the first time around. It's pretty cool. That got me thinking about how you can have leaders and followers within a group of people you're DJing for. And sometimes, you know, you get a request for a track that somebody's really excited about and they keep asking you for it and asking you for it. And in the back of your mind, you're saying to yourself, this is not going to work. And then you just finally submit and say, fine, and you play it. And then you get two, three people incredibly excited about this track out there jumping around and dancing, and everyone else is staring at them like, what are they doing? Why are they so excited about this song? You don't have enough leaders. So if you're going to take chances with tracks, you kind of need this. You need a big enough group excited about the songs the leaders will follow. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Line dances. Now, maybe you play them, maybe you don't, but at a lot of the weddings that I do, especially if they're not in the city, I'll play a requested line dance song, and I'll get a relatively decent-sized group on the dance floor, maybe, I don't know, 10 girls, and then a whole bunch of other women are going to come out, and guys even, who don't know what the heck's going on, but they see the excitement in these 10 individuals, and they want to join in. They don't know the dance, they have no idea what's going on, they try to follow. You've seen this. That's exactly what's happening. Those folks are followers. They want to get involved in the excitement. Three people isn't really going to bring you a lot of excitement, but I think like 10 plus is probably going to, usually going to get some of those followers to come on out and join in. So yeah, when I'm testing new tracks or I'm playing a new track, I kind of think to myself, can I get a big enough group of people out here to lead it? If I can, the followers will just come. Just some dance floor psychology for you. This is my observation. This is how I do things. Thought I'd share it with you today. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.